Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Keontae Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of the twin flames, okay? So Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, honey. If you in any way at all identify as a twin, 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 ninja, then this reading is for Jewel, all right? Oop, let us go ahead, jump into the reading, y'all. Let us see what the messages are. This spirit has here for the twins. Yo, I didn't even hear the birds tripping yet. This is like the, I don't even know, fourth or fifth time in the world that I done got up before the birds. <laughs> I'm out here. All right, so let us see. Oh, wait, I think I hear one. I, I just heard a bird. Hold on, y'all. No, is she a fucking mess? Even early in the morning. So let us see, what are the messages for the twins? We have pop up, all right? So this person is about to pop up on you, honey. That is the plan. They want to pop up on you, see where you at, where you be, who you be with, things like that, honey. All right, let us see here. We got divine feminine. Yep, this masculine is about to pop up on you, okay? They're about to hunt you down. For some of you, you might feel like this person doesn't care. Um, it's the complete opposite, I just heard. We have anxiety. Yeah, they actually care a lot in their opinion too much okay i don't really feel like you would care too much unless this person would just be doing too much but the energy that i be getting from them is like they barely do anything so yeah because a lot of them are in a karmic situation um it says third party relationship lesson okay so whether that be an actual relationship with somebody or whether they have people that they talk to here and there deal with whether you know um they dealing with other shit like such as financial support like whether it be child support, alimony, some sort of payments they have to pay um, or make to the government or whatever, anything like that. <clears throat> All right, so we have roller coaster. Okay, yeah, so that's what it's kind of giving. I was saying that, you know, that's what it's kind of giving because of whatever else this person has going on in their personal life, they can't really tend to the relationship the way that they would like to with you <clears throat> and we have single see so it's not to say that this person is like dealing with someone else because how often does this come out two 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 in a time stamp the person is clearly single okay um let me get some water y'all hold on all right i'm just back so yeah because of whatever like other situations this person has going on and whatnot that plays a large role in why you guys are not together, why they're not coming towards you. However, they can't fight these feelings off that they have for you. And that seems to be the thing, right? Like that's what always comes up. That's what gets mentioned in every reading. Um, the more they try to fight the feelings that they have for you, the stronger they get. <clears throat> so we have Archangel Michael here, okay? Archangel Michael is protecting you from them and protecting them from you, but also just protecting you from the nonsense that they have going on. It's not to say that this person is a bad person. You have to keep in mind, this is your divine counterpart. If we're the people I'm reading for, I'm reading for true twin flames, not somebody who you think is your divine masculine, but they're really a karmic, not somebody who you think is your divine feminine or masculine, but they're really a soulmate. You know, this is for true twin flames. So the person could have even become single to come towards you. This could be the unexpected surprise. You know what I mean? <clears throat> That the person is single and that they're making their way towards you. Because remember, Archangel Michael was not allowing these these masculines to come toward the feminines unless they exited stage left out of whatever situations they were dealing with. Because that's been the theme for like the last two months. And now Spirit is saying they've made that decision. But for a lot of them too, who were in relationships, they're, this is their first time being single in a while. So they're not trying to jump right back into something else. You get what I'm saying? So... Let us see here. <clears throat> what are the messages for the twins? We have family, all right? So it could have been family involved, okay? Um, they could have child or children with, you know, other person or people, okay? Um, so I feel like that's kind of what they're focused on right now, okay? With the family blood ties in a circle, we have Verge. And if you have not heard from this person, they're on the verge of revealing this to you or expressing this to you or letting you know what's been going on. All right, this is something that's going to be happening in the next few days, okay, for some of you. <clears throat> I feel like maybe you haven't heard from them in a while. So it keeps coming up like that. All right, the T. So they have something that they want to share with you. They have some... Things that they want to tell you. Because when we see T or we say T, we talk about the news, the information, the gossip, right? So this person, it might not necessarily even be gossip, but they just want to fill you in on what's going on in their life. 
because what they're hoping is that you're not done with him. <clears throat> They're hoping and praying you're not done with them, that you're not finished, that you're not, you know, completely walking away from them forever because you contribute to their happiness and to them feeling whole, okay? Um, but I feel like for a lot of you, the reason why you decided to walk away or why you decide to turn your back on the situation is so that you can keep yourself happy and keep yourself whole. You get what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> we have poison, yeah, because... It's like, once again, not to say that the person is a bad person, but the things that they do sometimes is given toxic. You get what I'm saying? It's definitely given toxic. Like, you don't stir someone up and then be like, oh, wait a minute, hold on fast, hold pause. You get what I'm saying? And it's a lot of that going on here, where the person stirred up your emotions and your feelings, and then they paused everything without any type of discussion at all. It just paused. And expect you, I guess, to figure it out, but also expect you not to be done. So it's like, come on, this, this sir here doesn't know what they want. That's what it feels like. <clears throat> they want their feminine. They want their singlehood. You get what I'm saying? Which definitely makes sense. They should be single right now because of the situations they just got out of. Um, but once again, what is the harm and foul in communicating? Yeah, I, I don't, you know, so that seems to be the issue in, in this dynamic here. Okay, is that there's a lack of communication going on. All right, but let us see. <clears throat> what are the messages for the twins? Okay. Insatiable. So they feel like they have to have more. They want more. Okay. A lot of you have already started ascending. You're on your spiritual path. You're awakening, leveling up. <clears throat> so although you are interested in your divine counterpart still, like I said, you, you take it as a lesson now. You look at it like, okay, I learned a very valuable lesson here and what I want, what I don't want, things like that when it comes to relationships, when it comes to friendships, when it comes to any of that. You just <clears throat> have your boundaries in place now. So we have searching. This person is online looking for you. I'm going to take this as some of you guys block them or remove them because we have interlude pause. Like I said, Everything was paused, but there was nothing stated. There was nothing communicated. There was nothing expressed. So you just had to put two and two together and figure it out. <clears throat> but unconditional here, this person definitely loves you for certain. It's not something that they have to question or they ever doubt. They know for a fact that they love you, but it's a matter of once again, this is the first time for a lot of you that this person is being single in years, okay? <clears throat> Probably decades. Could you imagine being in a 20 year situation and then going and jumping right into something else? You get what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just saying, like, who's doing that? You get what I'm saying? You're going to give yourself some type of break to just be alone, to just figure you out again, to do things the way you like to do them for you or whatever. <clears throat> appreciate the season you in every season. So if you have somebody, appreciate that, right? Because remember what a season you were in when you didn't and you wanted someone, right? <clears throat> And if you're single, enjoy that season. Because remember when you were in a relationship and you couldn't do half the shit that you really like to do or need to do for yourself because half your time went to another person? You know what I mean? So it's like it's something special in every season. Just appreciate where you are. Right? So it's like some of you are like, yeah, but I've been alone this whole time and I've been waiting on them while they were dealing with the karmic. And that's understandable. But this is why you have that free will choice. If you don't want to wait anymore, you don't have to. But then, you know, in the event like... The person becomes ready and available for a relationship with you. You're not available. You, you're like, well, what then? You can't think like that. Because if the person wanted to be with you, they would have been ready. <clears throat> they didn't get ready for you. So what difference does it make if you move on? You get what I'm saying? You can't think like that. So let us see here for the twins. What are the messages? What do they need to know? What are the messages for the twins? Sheesh, it's a lot of them. What are the messages? Okay, we have free will. See what I'm saying? They have free will choice and so do you. They don't have to decide to date, court, get closer, anything like that. They could decide to completely go left if that's what they want to do. But so can you, right? <clears throat> so it's like Spirit is saying that their family or obligations within their inner circle or blood ties is what has them not taking a leap of faith towards you. Because free will says choices, decisions, contact. 
All right. <clears throat> Action cannot be forced. Yeah, you cannot force somebody to do something. So remember what I was saying? You can't think like that. Like, well, what if um, I move on and then they're ready? Well, you have to look at the sunny side. You can't look at things from, you know, that type of perspective where the glass, glass is half empty. <clears throat> you guys, I swear, detoxing is the worst. <laughs> I mean, it's the best, but it's like the whole time, like, <clears throat> the whole time, shit, clearing everything out your body. Lord have mercy. So we have... <laughs> Lord have mercy. All right, so <clears throat> let's get into it, y'all. Gotta do what you gotta do, how you gotta do it. We have masculine, all right? So if you were wondering, because we have divine feminine, we have masculine. So your divine masculine, your twin or soulmate seeking you. You see what I'm saying? Um, a lot of them probably have no idea what a twin flame is or anything like that. And just from experience with, you know, myself and others, <clears throat> observation of course and um you know my clients and the things that they tell me and things like that i just feel it's best if if the person is not aware of twin flames or they don't know what twin flames are i think it's best that you just don't say anything you know what i'm saying like don't come out and be like oh yeah you're my person or i'm your feminine or you're my masculine or yeah we're twins or anything like that because what they tend to do is they tend to get scared and they tend to run the opposite direction <laughs> Because a lot of them don't know what that is, number one. Number two, a lot of them don't believe in, you know, think, think from a male's perspective. A lot of men don't believe in things like soulmates and, you know, uh, the one and stuff like that. A lot of them don't. Um, and don't let it be a guy who doesn't believe in like zodiacs or astrology or anything like that. Because then you're going to be even worse off. Like he's definitely not going to be believe in the twin flame phenomena. He's not going to care. You get what I'm saying? Um, and so, yeah, he, you're, what you're going to do is scare him off and he's going to run the opposite way. Now, here's the thing about that home, right? Can they feel it? Can they recognize it? Yes, they can. Because I hear you. You're like, well, how are they going to know that we're twins if I don't tell them? They'll feel it. You get what I'm saying? They will certainly feel it. But the second that you say something is when they feel pressured because now it's like they have to live up to a certain expectation, which is, by the way, false. Nobody ever said that. Right. Nobody said, oh, yeah, you know, my you're my divine masculine. So I expect you to be this type of way at all times. That, that literally makes zero sense, because coming from the other perspective, divine feminine, are you perfect all the time? You get what I'm saying? Do you make zero mistakes? No, you get what I'm saying? And so I just think things like that are completely irrational, unreasonable. And that's why they keep getting that in denial card with the shade. Y'all know the one I'm talking about because it's the energy that they be having. They try to be in denial of what it is that they're feeling, but then they turn around and say, you feel like home. You get what I'm saying? So it says cozy, warm, secure. You feel at home with each other. You see what I'm saying? So it's like pick a side, you know, and that's why we have roller coaster on the board. They don't know what they want to do. It's very up and down, up and down, back and forth. This, this is what they do know. They know they love you unconditionally. They know they love you for a fact. Um, I see access granite here sticking his head out. That is hilarious. They know that if you block them or if you separate yourself from them, they will find you. <laughs> Some of y'all think that's scary. I, I call it divine feminine and divine masculine. You can't be without each other. You get what I'm saying? Um, Period. Let's say you go without hearing from your masculine for mm, throw a random number mm, a month. Okay, I was about to say some crazy shit like twenty seven days, but then y'all gonna be like, all right, that was kind of oddly specific. But let's say you you haven't heard from <laughs> your masculine in like a month or two or three or four shit. I don't know. Let's say you haven't heard from them in a certain amount of time. Am I lying? You're going to be worried, right? You're going to be worried as hell. You're going to be like, okay, where are they at? Are they, what are they doing? Are they okay? You get what I'm saying? Not in terms of who they, you know, or shit like that. But in terms of this is a crazy world that we live in. And you just want to make sure they're okay. So stuff like that is toxic. You get what I'm saying? To tell somebody, yeah, I love you. I, I unconditionally love you. I care for you so much. You get what I'm saying? Like I told you guys, they have child or children or family members that they're attending to or taking care of that are preventing them from coming together with you having this reconciliation. I didn't even see this under there because we hadn't even pulled it. But how do you tell somebody that I unconditionally love you or I love you like this and I love you like that or whatever the case may be? And then you go pew and dip out again. You get what I'm saying? So that's where feminine is coming from with that's kind of toxic. You get what I'm saying? It's kind of toxic, you know? If somebody, is, if somebody says they love you or you love someone, you want to know that they're okay. 
And so I feel like that's kind of where you guys come from. And this is why I go so hard with the twin flame readings, because if you're not in contact with your masculine or your feminine, you're concerned. You just want to make sure that they are okay. You know what I mean? That's it. And once again, people that don't have like true twins are going to get it. People who don't have a twin are not going to understand that level of anxiety that comes with not knowing your person is okay. So like I said, they're going to find you <laughs> one way or another. That's what I deserve. They're going to find you. Like it might sound like I didn't say they're going to pop up on you. At, well, shit, the card did come out like pop up, didn't it? <laughs> So, I mean, whatever happens with that, happens with that. But <laughs> they, <laughs> they, um, they feel like you're a blessing. You get what I'm saying? They feel like you are a blessing. Once again, double emphasis on the fact that it's a pause right now. Okay. So if you're like, well, what's going on and when is it going to be moving forward? It says protection, attention, love. Okay. Your guides are always with you. I feel like. This is what I'm saying. You might look at it like, oh, why is this connection not happening and this and that. Whatever situation they have going on, remember the financial support. Remember this family card. Remember that children card. Whatever they might have going on. Remember that karmic card. Um, spirit is like, you know, you, you know, you, your energy, what you and masculine have and what y'all are going to have in you guys' future does not mix with whatever toxicity they currently have going on in their environment. So spirit is like, once again, double emphasis on the pulse. Okay. Like, <laughs> I don't know about your spirit guides, but my spirit guides are something the heck else. Okay. So we have healing. Okay. Um, it says self care, time out, be gentle with yourself and your twin. All right. Let this person heal. Like I said, single, they might want you. They might feel like, oh my God, I gotta have it. 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 Right. You can feel the same way because it's your twin. It'll never be enough. No matter how much you get, I promise you, you and your twin can be on the phone for six hours straight. And I'm like, damn, six hours. That's exactly my point. You get what I'm saying? You and your twin flame can talk that long and you wouldn't even notice. By the time you get off the phone, you'll be like, damn, you're on the phone for six hours. You know, it's that type of energy because it just flows. You're, you're synchronized. You get what I'm saying? You're, it's like synergy. You go together, synced energy. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know right now. Just let the person heal. This is the second time we're seeing the teapot. You get what I'm saying? So they have a lot that they want to talk to you about a lot that they want to discuss. They find you to be very healing for them, very therapeutic for them. However, the reason why a lot of you have turned your back at this moment or will choose to turn your back permanently is because you feel like this person is not the same for you. You feel like you bring the person healing. You bring the person peace. You want them to be blessed. They bring you stress. They bring you anxiety. They have you on this roller coaster. You get what I'm saying? So as far as you're concerned, you're like, I just need a break. <laughs> okay. So they're doing them and you need a break. The twins are mirroring each other. So we have regret here. Okay. It says remorse, life regrets, loss. Start making empowered choices. Like I said, this person is now realizing like, damn, okay. So now she feels like, or he feels like, cause you don't have to be a female to be divine feminine, but they feel like they have to protect themselves from me. You get what I'm saying? And that is very painful okay um it's also very painful when you love someone and you know that they think terrible things about you you get what i'm saying whatever those things might be whether it be they can't trust you or <sighs> they don't believe in you they've lost some sort of hope in you or they're disappointed in you or anything like that is going to hurt it's going to hurt really really bad okay you guys always try to make me cry in your readings. I always feel what you guys are going through. And you always try to get me to cry in these damn readings. And I'm not here for it today. Yeah, no, I'm not here for it today. <laughs> all right. So that's what I'm saying. The answer to your question is no. All right. Destruction. So if you're like, well, are they going to be, if they're tending to their family, are they going to be getting back to this and getting back to that and that, that, that? Listen, spirit is already telling them to rise above the fear. Spirit is already telling them to rise above the feelings of loss. Spirit is already telling them to rise above the feelings of regret and the fact that they may have potentially settled for less. You get what I'm saying? Or shit, currently settling for less than their feminine, right? But because they choose, or excuse me, yeah, it is choose. Because they choose not to 
take action or they choose not to reach out or they choose not to speak up or whatever the case is here this is why spirit is like no spirit's not going to let them come near you they want to pop up they want to see you they want to do this Spirit's like no because you got other things that you need to work on you have things you need to sort out before you come trying to come towards feminine here you get what i'm saying that's where um i'm about to say that's where masculine that's where spirit is coming from okay so let us see we have control see masculine is trying to control the narrative it says stagnation, delusion, release the need to control situations. See what I'm saying? Outcome, results, conclusion, ending. You will get a resolution. See what I'm saying? So once again, we have runner. The runner is trying to control the situation, trying to control the narrative. In their twin flame dynamic, this keeps coming out like this. And this is why Archangel Michael is here on the board. Divine intervention, divine protection. We have perception. Second time we're seeing something about delusion. You get what I'm saying? Because here's the thing. They don't want to surrender. They, A lot of them are still unawakened. I'm not going to lie to you. And they don't want to surrender. They don't want to get to the point where they lose control. They give their control over to spirit. They don't want that. Or they give their control over to love. That's absolutely not what they want. As far as this person is concerned, love is an emotion that you choose and they don't have to choose their divine feminine is where they're coming from at the same time they cannot stop thinking about their divine feminine and this is why spirit is like okay well that's nice for you but you will not be able to come near your divine feminine because she deserves x y and z especially when it'll be different if a person were to say they are completely oblivious to the connection that you and, and them have. But this is not the case. They feel it, I mean, to the point where they will not let you go. That says a lot. You've tried to walk away for a lot of you. Done. You've turned your back to this person, to this situation multiple times. Like I said, for some of you, it's been decade or decades. You've turned your back to this multiple times, but they won't let you. They won't let you because they can't tolerate knowing you are not a part of their life or you won't be so they do whatever they can to try to keep you around but this is why spirit is saying enough you get what i'm saying and unfortunately what's going to end up happening for those of the masculines who have been trying to like put ride the fence you get what i'm saying um <clears throat> stay in karmic relationships or situations with third party or third parties as well as entertain or you know um start getting closer to their divine feminine masculine is about to be in for it because spirit is is i mean come on common sense what would make you think that that's all right you get what I'm, and they know it's not so it's like okay if that's if that's your intention to continue doing that that's why spirit is going to intervene right now if this masculine has intentions on truly coming toward you you know making things right this that and the third then yeah spirit is going to allow that but Mm -mm. whatever your question was here honey the answer is no all right the answer is no now we have hesitation we have community okay and then we have awakening coming out here okay so this is what i'm getting this is the unawakened masculine who is being called to heal, being called to awaken, being called to come into service in whichever way spirit would like for them to be of service within their community. I'm also getting due to the friends, the family, the people that are around them. This is what has them hesitating. In the event that they start going through a spiritual awakening, they no longer resonate with those people that are around them. And this is what happens at first, right? You don't resonate with certain people at first. Then the people who are meant to stay around are going to stay around. When I first started on my healing journey, my mother, <laughs> my mother used to throw, like, try to throw Bible verses at me and this and that and tell me all of this stuff. And then I had to come spin the block and show her where certain things was mentioned in the Bible and how certain references were made and this and that. And we would have Bible study and I would put her on and I would teach her. And now guess what? My mother is walking around with a whole bunch of damn crystals around her neck. Can't get, get her to stay out of the crystal store. You understand me? Like she in here burning sage throughout her house and stuff and different things like that. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, it's going to start off with certain people not resonating with you anymore. You know what I'm saying? There were certain friends that 
wanted to go out to the club all the time, wanted to drink, wanted to smoke, wanted to do all these different things. I no longer did that. You get what I'm saying? Once I quit smoking cigs, I was done smoking cigs. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's not something you'd be like, oh, you were smoking cigarettes? It's so disgusting. Well, how about I quit? You get what I'm saying? Over some years ago, and it's been consecutive for at this point. So it's like, as you continue to get better, you do better. When you're around toxic things, people, environments, you pick up on those toxic things, people, environments. When you start cleansing yourself, when you start healing, you start becoming better, you're going to start attracting better to yourself. So if this masculine is afraid because, oh, this person and me are not going to freak with each other anymore because they pop pills and I'm not going to be popping pills. Or this person not going to freak with me no more because they be on some Playboy shit and they, they like showing videos of all the women they done smashed and I'm trying to settle down with, with my divine feminine or whatever the case may be. Listen to me. <clears throat> it is what it is it is what it is but we have feminine here this is like so many times we've seen that this person recognizes you are their feminine you are their balance you are their yin you get what i'm saying to their yang however this person is more so concerned with the community and the thoughts and the opinions of this person and that person and they're not ready yet basically settling so like i said a lot of them have settled or will be settling i'm not making this up all right. So a lot of you are like, oh, you know, I get the comments. I get the emails when we t when we have our personal one on one sessions and we talk about it. I know what's going on. But let me tell you something. They build this house. Right. They might have this. They might have that. But look at this fucking house. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It might not literally look like this on the outside, but it might feel like this and look like this on the inside, if you know what I mean. So it's like, what are you guys worried about? And in the event that you decide to move on with your life, whose fault is that? Right? So, it's just like, it is what it is, y'all. Y'all can't keep, uh, you know, twiddling your thumbs, waiting on somebody now. Okay? Like, at the end of the day, Spirit said, this person, I mean, it's literally right in front of you, y'all. This person wants to pop up on you. They love you unconditionally. They want to tell you how they feel. They want to do this. They want to do that. That's what's up. Spirit's not going to let them near you until they do the right things the right way. Period. All right, so if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and have grace.